Hey gang, Jim Farmer here from Castaway Bait and Tackle. It's uh, Thursday the 12th of uh, January and I've uh, had a little extra time in the shop this week and I fooled around and made a few uh, U-rigs to uh, sell. I've uh, got these hanging in the shop. I wanted to show you guys a little bit about the uh, Castaway U-rig and the Castaway U-rig design. Uh, first off, the one of the U-rigs that I... I make is a one ounce U-rig. This is a uh, castable or lobable U-rig. The jig head weighs uh, one ounce. And uh, this uh, particular rig, a little bit about the construction, uh, that's a 150 pound uh, barrel swivel, uh, 150 pound test, so it's not going to break off. It's attached to this uh, back shaft right here, the fifth arm, and then it's got four arms. Uh, the wire is a heavy duty wire. Uh, it's a uh, 8 inch wire and then if you uh, look down here at the end of the wire it's a looped wire and what I've done is I've attached the uh, snap swivel directly to the loop so there's no need for a uh, slip ring or anything like that which just makes the rig more durable and this is a uh, 50 pound uh, snap swivel so it's a heavy duty snap swivel and in this particular rig, this is a uh, shad head rig, and uh, these are half ounce shad heads. Uh, this particular one is a bullfrog pattern or chartreuse pattern, and these are uh, swim baits, shad, shad baits that go on the back. This is about uh, a four inch shad bait that goes on the back. So that's a basic shad rig. This is uh, one of the first rigs that uh, I started pulling when I started. Uh, trolling you rigs it was real easy to make one of these uh, the shad head uh, jig was the first jig mold that I got and the shad body was the first uh, plastic mold that I got so this was a pretty basic rig for me uh, the trailer arm on the rig is uh, it's about a 10 inch arm it uh, extends back about two more inches past the uh, eight inch arms on the on the side so this is the uh, shad body rig Here's another uh, shad body rig. This is uh, a shad pattern that I'm using. It's uh, holographic shad heads. These heads are uh, half ounce shad heads. That's a one ounce uh, jig head on the top, eight inch arms on it, uh, snap swivels. And on this one, I've put uh, one of Tim Adrian's design monster bucktails in a bleeding shad pattern on the uh, center trailer. And uh, that's uh, another one of the shad jigs and they'll be on available on the website real soon another one that i offer is uh these are little egghead bucktails these are uh, three eighths ounce egghead bucktails this is a screaming bucktail pattern where it has the red nose on it uh, and these are uh three eighths ounce it's a holographic uh uh chartreuse white and then the uh trailer is a little bigger uh, bucktail egg head and also on this one I used a uh, big double lot uh, a double X uh, Mustat hook and uh, I believe that's about a three aught hook so once again this is another heavy tough rig uh, three eighths ounce bucktails and uh, egg head design this is another uh, favorite uh, here on Lanier this is a blue bag pattern this is a real successful uh, color that I've used on Lake Lanier for the past uh, four or five years and the stripers seem to really be attracted to this blue color and uh, this is uh, a chipmunk rig these are uh, chipmunk bucktails that I tied and each one of them is uh, half ounce chipmunk and each one of them has holographic uh, flash on it the jig head itself this is a two ounce jig head so that's going to be running just a little bit deeper than the one ounce that we just looked at uh, so this is the blue back pattern in a two ounce. Uh, the arms are once again eight inch arms, uh, snap swivels attached directly to the arms. And on this particular one I've used a uh, five eighths ounce uh, horse head jig with a three, uh, three inch uh, paddle tail on the back of it. And this is a chipmunk rig. Another chipmunk rig here is the uh, hot pink. Hot pink is another color that works real good on Lanier and a lot of surrounding lakes uh, up in Tennessee. We've had a lot of success with uh, this color too. Uh, this one has a uh, three-quarter ounce monster bucktail as the trailer. 
and it's back uh, 10 inches and this monster bucktail it's been uh, pretty good for uh, the center trailer bait on the u-rigs it seems to be kind of a no-brainer here lately these monster bucktails work really good we used them in the uh, summertime trolling and uh, they're working great as a uh, trailer bait on the u-rigs so that's a uh, hot pink chipmunk and that's a two ounce uh, jig head at the top and a holographic uh, hot pink and white pattern so that's the chipmunk next is a uh, what I call uh, cookies and cream pattern this is a pattern that I came up with some years ago had real good success with it on Lanier and then uh, uh, it started selling up in the Chesapeake Bay for a lot of fishermen up there started using the same color pattern and it worked pretty successfully with their bucktails up there and this is the uh, cookies and cream once again it's a two ounce jig head uh, and I've put a monster bucktail on the back of it this is a three quarter ounce monster bucktail on the trailer and uh, this is kind of a bone uh, colored uh, shad body it's a uh, Looks like about a four inch shad body and uh, half ounce uh, shad heads. So that's a bone colored and a uh, cookies and cream colored two ounce rig. And last is the two and a half ounce rig. This is a uh, another blueback rig. Uh, this one's two and a half ounces and this one has uh, a few more arms than the other ones. This, this one has seven arms. And I've got this painted up in what I call a linear blueback pattern, which uh, includes some hot pink in the blue. And then I kind of capped it off with a three-quarter inch monster bucktail designed by uh, Tim Adrian. So this is uh, a little deeper running rig here. It's uh, got uh, seven arms, six uh, eight-inch arms, and one ten-inch arm on it. So that's going to run just a little bit deeper. So all these uh, bucktail, all these uh, U-rigs or U-rigs that I made this week in my spare time, and they're all available in the shop. If uh, you local guys want to shoot me an email or give me a call and see if I've still got them, why they're hanging here, or else uh, you can uh, order them off the website just a little later today. Thanks.